Hi, I'm Rick Streaker, Packard's National Training Coordinator. In this session of the Packard Academy, we're going to talk about a new innovative product from one of our special partners, EBM Pabst. And this particular product is incorporating the high efficiency technology of the EC motor designs, as well as a very flexible and unique fan assembly that can be used to replace numerous products that are currently out there in the marketplace. It'll replace the high demand products that you see in most of the walk-in coolers, as well as some of those other manufacturing models that, uh, that you run across. This new innovative design will replace the PSC motors that are currently in the units. There are also some ECM that are currently in units. But the feature is that now it's not necessary to remove a fan blade, take the motor from the bracket, attach the replacement motor to the bracket, position the fan blade, hopefully in the right location, and in addition, instead of having to have a motor for a 115 volt application and a motor for a 230 volt application, the new design includes the wide voltage range, 115 to 230 volts. The fan blade is balanced for the assembly. It is attached to the motor. The complete unit is attached to the struts for easy mounting within the system. Let's look at the steps of removing the old assembly and installing the new assembly. We need to, first of all, remove the guard. After removing the guard, typically there are going to be two retainer nuts, perhaps more, holding the device in place. So we'll remove those retainer nuts. Then remove the fan assembly. And we need to remove the electrical connection within the assembly. And the unit is removed. The new assembly is self-contained. All the components are on this assembly and positioned appropriately for the unit. So now I can recycle this entire component. For the installation of the new fan assembly, the first step will be to insert the power cord securely into the connector. Once that's installed, we can then insert the fan assembly. Once the assembly is inserted, attach the retaining nuts and you'll notice that the fan blade is perfectly centered within the orifice. Then we'll reinstall the guard to the unit. And our project's complete. The only tools that we needed for the new installation were these two. Didn't need to use these tools. So we've upgraded this unit by adding a fan assembly that utilized the high efficiency ECM design and it was simple to install and replace the PSC motor. In addition to this motor, specific for this model, there's also another model that is available. That particular model has two features that allows it to be used in multiple manufacturers evaporators. The features on the second model, first of all, we have multiple mounting configurations that would allow this to be mounted with different mount holes in the, the manufacturer's evaporator. The second important feature is that prior to installation, a selection of up to 10 speeds is available on the unit so that it can be custom fitted for that manufacturer's application. Just by simply popping off the back cover to the switch allows you access to set the speed, again before installation, for the particular application. 
This demonstration is showing the comparison between the PSC motor that is currently used in some of these applications versus the EC motor that can be used as a replacement. And you can see the difference between the input power that the EC motor requires much less wattage in comparison to the PSC motor for providing the same airflow. Because the EC motor is much more efficient than the PSC motor, we do not see as high of winding temperatures in the ECM as we do in the PSC. Not only do we have a more efficient use of our energy with the EC motor, but in addition, we're not putting as much heat in that cold environment. Now our motor doesn't have to overcome that added heat that we might see with the PSC motor. Thanks for participating in the Packard Academy. We look forward to hearing from you soon.